Hey, JD here. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe. Please hit like. And what do we have here today? We've got that Seiko Quartz movement. So yesterday I set that precise military time in a military time check fashion that I was trained to do when I was in the military. So it is currently on time is 1553.27. And if you look at the Seiko Quartz, when it's passing the 32nd mark here, it is slow. It says 37, 38, 39. It's not even at 30, 40 yet. So it is running fairly slow. And the indicator on the inside rim also needs to be fixed a bit here. So it's a little bit more accurate. But if I just look at it from this perspective, it is running slow. So I think we're almost at 54 seconds and it's just creeping up to 53 seconds right now. So so I need to speed this thing up. How shall I speed this watch up? Well, let me see. Let me see. How shall we speed this watch up? Well, there is a technique. I just don't know whether I'm going to do it right or not. So let's go ahead and try to do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is take off the case back. So I've already loosened it significantly. And I'm just going to remove the case back carefully. There we go. Throw that out of the way. And this little brass screw is the one that slows the watch down and speeds it up. What I don't know is how far to turn it. So I'm just going to give it a tweak. And then I'm going to reset the timing on this watch. And we're going to check it again tomorrow and see whether that has worked or not. So let me just give this a tweak. And again, I don't know whether which how far to turn this thing. There. That's one little tick. I turned it one tick. So I'm going to put the watch back together and then we're going to set the time on this watch. And we're going to coordinate that time with the uh, time is time, which is atomic time. And you get to see the top of my head while I'm doing this activity. So aren't you lucky? So I'm not going to need to tighten this down a lot. And let me just flip this watch over uh, and I need to grab the time setting device on the side here. So we'll unscrew that. This is live, folks. Live. Unscrew this. And I'm going to set this 1356.41. So I'm going to move this up to 12 o'clock high. Okay. And I'm just going to turn this on for a second. I'm going to stop that second hand when it's exactly at 12 o'clock high. So we're just going to do that. It's like a, just like a, uh, an old spaghetti western. Oh yeah. So I'm waiting, waiting. Going to wait till it hits. I'm pushing the button in. Or pulling it out actually. Stop at exactly 12 o'clock. One. Now. Okay, that's exactly stopped at exactly 12 o'clock high and I'm using the markers here that should be sufficient enough and now I've got to either turn off the video or talk for the next couple of minutes I think I'll turn the video off so I don't bore you all right I'm back and I'm ready to press this button so I've got a minute this technique I also use for my pocket watches sometimes so you can regulate a pocket watch using my time grapher or my software, my my very expensive uh, escapement uh, software. Um, or you can just speed it up a little bit and check it the next day. So, and I think that's probably what they did a hundred years ago. They didn't have this technique and they wanted to be accurate. So they didn't have atomic clocks a hundred years ago. I believe they didn't anyway. So the countdown is coming. It's like buying something off of eBay. I'm going to, I'm going to, basically Skype or whatever gonna screw someone's eBay bid up. So 47, 48, 49, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, BAM! There we go. I went BAM and it was slightly off the BAM here so it's just slightly one half a second behind the turn. So, but that's it. That's done. 
So now I'll get to check this tomorrow, I'll put this video on, and we'll see whether that little half turn on the back of that little regulation screw actually did anything. Did it slow it down? Did it speed it up? What did it do? We'll see tomorrow, and it'll be a brand new video. So <laughs> I hope you found this so interesting. Thanks, and bye, JD. Please subscribe, please hit like, and we'll do this again. Bye.